The allegations of what went on inside Palm Valley Post Acute in Goodyear are unsettling. A patient in the rehab facility alleges she was raped around 15 to 20 times. The suspect, Bobby Lee Williams, self-surrendered his nursing assistant certificate. And once that's done, the board loses jurisdiction. But that's the place where, for example, if it's a criminal offense, that, that law enforcement may take over from there. Emma Mamalui is the chief counsel for the Arizona Board of Nursing. She says Williams was new, receiving his certificate in June of last year. The incidents allegedly happened between September 21st and October 5th. Documents from the state health department show there were numerous times staff and managers were notified of sexual misconduct but didn't act. One excerpt reads when the victim tried to report it, she was told to, quote, follow the chain of command, and the administrator and nurse director were aware. A male resident she confided in backed that story up. The victim's roommate was the first to report it on September 28th. According to the health department, reports were made September 28th, October 17th, November 3rd, and November 13th, and there was no evidence the allegations were investigated until November 18th. Williams was suspended November 13th, nearly two months after the facility was first notified. According to documents filed by the nursing board, Williams claimed the sex was consensual and the victim, quote, came on to him. Just to be clear, Mr. Williams was alleging that the patient, this was consensual and that the patient, you know, it was consensual, essentially. Um, for our purposes at the nursing board, it doesn't matter. If there's a patient, the nurse may not, nurse or nursing assistant may not engage in sexual relations with the patient, period. Goodyear police confirm they are investigating. As of now, Williams has not been criminally charged. Now, I did hear back from the Palm Valley Post acute uh, late this afternoon. A spokesperson said after the first allegation, they and the Department of Health did investigations, but the allegations were unfounded. It wasn't until the patient went to police, they say, the health department took action. In the newsroom, Angie Cayley for Arizona's Family. What a disturbing story, Angie. Thank you. And if all this